It's easy to think of ADHD as just young kids, usually boys, being full of energy and rambunctious until you see what this mother deals with when her nine-year-old is unmedicated. It's a real brain chemistry dysfunction, proven by the fact that powerful stimulants used to treat ADHD usually slow these kids down. People who have untreated ADHD can have difficulty as they get older with other psychiatric diagnoses such as depression, um, with chemical dependency, and potentially with other activities that could get them in trouble with the law. Now for the first time, a small battery-powered device offers a non-drug treatment. It's a small electrode patch connected to a battery-powered stimulator. It's worn on the forehead, usually overnight, and that triggers branches of the sensory trigeminal nerve. It seems that those low-level electrical impulses travel along the nerves deep into the brain where they're thought to interact with nearby brain structures that affect hyperactivity. The head of the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation says, while it's not clear how this affects hyperactivity, we do know that behavioral brain circuits are complex. And by affecting those circuits, sometimes with electrical stimulation, as is the case with this device, we can therefore affect the illness itself. Double-blind studies of the device in 62 children ages 7 to 12 found a 44% improvement in ADHD symptoms. It's not a cure but it offers a non-drug aid for ADHD treatment. Still a lot of questions remain. How long will the effect last? Can it be used to lower medication dose? Will it work in older children? The device from NeuroSigma was just approved and it's available by prescription for about $1,000 and it is not yet covered by insurance at this point. But it's a good, it's another tool in the armamentarium. Well